Lovely children, I hope and pray that you are all keeping well and healthy. And Auntie hopes and prays that this week will be a wonderful week for you all. So, for this week's Sunday School lesson, we are going to learn about the story of Jesus feeding 5,000 people. Now, that is a large, large crowd, a large number of people. So, to go further into our lesson, let's look at our video for today. Jesus was one of the most famous people in all of Israel. One day, as he was teaching, thousands of people came to listen, hanging on his every word. He spoke and taught in a way that people could understand. There were people from all social classes. Some were Jews, others were Gentiles. Yet each of them found significance in the wisdom with which he taught. Jesus had a lot to say, and later during the day, the crowds became hungry. Jesus, the people are hungry, his disciples came and told him. You must send the people away to find a place to stay and find something to eat. Jesus looked at the thousands of people. It was a huge crowd. There were 5,000 men, plus women and children. Then Jesus gave a strange order to his disciples. You give them something to eat, he commanded them. The disciples were confused. We don't have any food, and even if we spent all the money we had on food, there still would not be enough. Then Jesus asked them, What food do you have? One of his disciples, Andrew, came up to Jesus with a young boy. This boy has five barley loaves and two fish, but that is not enough for all these people. Have the people sit down, Jesus instructed. The disciples went to work arranging the people into an orderly seating pattern. The young boy watched as Jesus held up his food and thanked God for it. Suddenly, a miraculous sign occurred. After giving thanks, Jesus started handing out the food. The more he handed out, the more food there was. God was multiplying the five barley loaves and two fishes to be enough to feed 5,000 people. The crowds were amazed. Once again, Jesus' disciples witnessed firsthand the power of the Son of God. Jesus was constantly illustrating and teaching them valuable lessons that would help strengthen their faith. With God, nothing was impossible. Not even turning two fishes and five loaves of bread into a 5,000-piece lunch as the disciples scooped up the leftovers, they filled 12 full baskets. This was an undeniable miracle. Who could have such power? Indeed, this Jesus was the Son of God. That day, thousands more people believed, repented, and put their trust in God. Wow, what an amazing miracle we just witnessed. We saw how Jesus fed 5,000 people. Now, Auntie wants to ask you one question. How was this miracle possible? Hmm. You see, if this small boy hadn't come and offered the little that he had, Jesus wouldn't have done that miracle. And so many people wouldn't have seen that miracle taking place and experienced the power of God. But because that small boy was willing to share what he had, even if it was a little, he knew that his fish and bread wasn't going to feed this such a big crowd. But he still thought, you know, I should share what I have, even if it's a little. I should offer this to Jesus. And he did. And because he gave the little he had, Jesus was able to multiply it with the power of God and feed 5,000 people that day. You want to know something even more cooler? It says 5,000 men were fed that day. That means there were women, 
and children as well. So Jesus fed way more than 5,000 people that day. And that is the miracle that we just witnessed in our Bible story today. So as we think about this miracle that God did with the help of a little boy who offered the little that we had, we can learn a few things. We can learn that even though we are small, we can still make a difference by helping others. Don't think what you have is little or your talents are small or that you are too young to do anything. In your church, in your family, in your school, God can use you to do wonderful things just like this little boy. And whatever you have, offer it, give it and share it among those who do not have. That is the best thing that you can do. Especially during these times that lots of people are going through. It's a difficult time for many. And we can share what we have. We can start with our own family members and spread it to our neighbors and so on and so forth. And in this way, we can help those who are finding it difficult during this time. It might not be with big things that you can help your neighbors, but with small things. Maybe a packet of flour, a packet of milk powder, a packet of sugar, maybe some extra medicines you have at home and you know that you might not use it. So you can share it with those maybe down your lane who might need it more than you do. It can be these small acts of kindness, you know, that you can do to help those around you, to spread the love of God around to spread the love of Jesus to your friends and family and to your neighbors. So this is one thing we can learn. Another thing is we should also be willing and accept the help that we get from others. Now Jesus was a mighty person. He was Jesus, the son of God. But still, when this little boy came up and offered this to Jesus, Jesus didn't say, no, I don't need it. I can do this miracle even without this food that you are offering. No, Jesus didn't say that. He took what was offered to him. He was appreciative, you know. He would have been thinking, you know, how well this boy is uh, being brought up. He's sharing what he has. So in this way, Jesus took what was offered to him. He didn't say no. He didn't feel bad to accept this gift that this boy gave. So in this way, even when someone is trying to help us, Maybe our neighbors are trying to help us during this time and they are offering us some food maybe, maybe some stationery for our schoolwork. Even these things we should be willing to accept as well. We should be happy that there is someone, our neighbors, who are looking out for us and trying to help us during this time that everyone is facing some sort of difficulty. And now let's see what our handwork is for today. So children, for our handwork, we will be needing some felt pens or colors, a uh, pair of scissors, pencil and eraser, gum, an A4 sheet. For colors, auntie is using watercolors. You can use crayons or color pencils and you need some kind of a board. So auntie is using an old file that I have. On the A4 sheet that auntie had, I wrote on top, the little boy shared what he had and at the bottom until wrote from Matthew chapter 14 verse 20 they all ate and were satisfied. So our handwork is going to be about the food that the little boy offered Jesus and how so many people were helped because of that. So now out of the boat that you have we are going to cut out five loaves of bread and two fish. Also you can paint the white A4 that you have in any color to represent a basket or you can use any other material to make the basket as well. Now Auntie painted a basket or a bowl shape on the paper and I cut out five loaves of bread from that file that I had and two fish. Now Auntie is going to paint this and then paste it on the A4 sheet inside the basket that I drew. So Auntie painted the loaves of bread and the fish and now the handwork is completed. Now all you have to do is file it in your handwork file or paste it in your handwork book. And now it's our chorus time so let's sing along.
and let us bring this Sunday's Sunday school lesson to a close with a prayer. And you can say the prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for the lesson I learned today. Jesus, help me to always share what I have with others. And help me also to be humble and accept what others share with me. Jesus, I specially pray for my country at this time. And I place it in your mighty and precious hands. Jesus, be with all the people of my country. I pray all this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So till Auntie sees you next week with another amazing Bible story, please take care of yourselves, be safe, be obedient to your parents and your guardians, and remember that Jesus loves you very, very much. God bless, take care, and see you soon. Bye.